It's week two of the high school playoffs. The field's smaller, but the stakes are greater. Our coverage starts with Keenan Singleton live at St. X High School. Keenan. Hey, good evening there, John. Two years ago when Tom Griffith took over the program here at Milford, he dubbed the Eagles a sleeping giant. Now the Eagles tonight face their biggest test to date, undefeated and topped ranked Coleraine. Now over in Hamilton, Little Mammy has a big test of its own tonight as well. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Little Miami is not running away from the challenge of playing Winton Woods. We're here to win. We're here to win. Here practicing in early November as a few outside of this stadium expected the Panthers to be. 1992, the last time they advanced to the postseason. Never the last time they beat Edgewood, which they did a week ago in the first round of the playoffs. If we beat Edgewood, a team never beat before, that just... I think really puts over the edge in confidence. They'll have to keep that edge against top seed of Winton Woods and one of the top candidates for Mr. Football, running back Mayan Williams. He's going to get his yards, but we're going to make him earn every one. He earned it 431 times a week ago. The Panthers feel they've earned the right to not only share the field, but leave it as winners tonight. Be Winton Woods on two, one, two. Be Winton Woods. People are going to say underdogs, but and with how much work we put in, I don't think there is an underdog in this game. All right, John, one note to add in addition to that little Miami Win Woods game. Those two programs joined in the Eastern Cincinnati Conference, according to our WCPO High School insider Mike Dyer, in 2020. They'll join, you know, Kings, Milford behind me, Anderson Turpin, and the like. Reporting here live at St. X High School, Keenan Singleton, 9 on your side. John.